to maintain all the safety features, uh, interior and exterior, and to preserve property value of the home. Doing proper home maintenance preserves your biggest asset in life. Small things can add up to be large problems in a pretty rapid sequence of events. Public safety, uh, your health, things of that nature. You want to make sure that your home is safe, you want to make sure that your family's safe, and you also want to make sure that you're protecting your investment and making sure that your home's able to last decades and decades. A lot of code violations we'll find right now it could be with smoke alarms, it could be with carbon monoxide detectors. The most common violation that I see actually is what we call interior surfaces. Your wall, to your door, to your floor, making sure that they are intact, that they are free from cracks, and making sure that the structure is structurally sound. Exterior would probably be paint and materials that are starting to decay. A lot of times some steps or maybe handrails. Well, gutters are there for a basic function, and that is to draw water away from the foundation of your home. If you have water that stays at the base of your home, what happens is that it filters down to the ground and it allows the water to actually go into the foundation. And so eventually you're going to have cracks and in addition to that, you're gonna have leaking. If you think about the surface area of a roof, that's a lot of water during a rain. If your gutters are not sloped properly, if they're not maintained, if they're full of debris, that water will remain in the gutter and not drain out. This water can back up and come into your house, get down into the walls, and come to the interior of the house, and create mold problems. Certain times of the year, it's, it's a great habitat for mosquitoes, and they will thrive in, in that environment. With a gas-fired furnace or water heater, you need sufficient clearance around that. You don't want to have combustible items around a gas burning appliance. The space is required like a 30 inch by 30 inch. If you do have a fuel burning appliance, you have to remember there is an open flame all of the time. When emergency officials are looking for a home, it is imperative that they are able to quickly identify house numbers. The dead trees, they can harbor pests and, and things of that nature, or even a disease that can be spread to other, other trees. It does deal in the property maintenance code about rat rodent harbor, harborage, that sort of thing, keeping uh, interior furnishings out where rodents can get in and nest. If a tree falls on a, another property, you as a property owner or owner are liable for that damage. Go online and go to the 2012 International Property Maintenance Code. That's what is, we have adopted and governs us as inspectors to write violations from. Mm -hmm.